Hello everybody. So I've been working on actually trying to make a different rendering system. The current one uh, that you're probably used to right now is uses sprites, which are a two like they're two triangles that always face towards the player. I gave the material a spherical look, so it kind of looked like it was a sphere, but it kind of it kind of isn't. Uh, unfortunately, this method is quite slow because the source render wasn't made to render uh, thousands of objects at one time. So I've split the particles into subdivided meshes to give it a um, so that it's a little easier for Source Engine to handle. <clears throat> it looks a little weird, but I mean, it can be fixed uh, if I really wanted. I just, I just haven't bothered. So they're, they're flat right now. But if I spawn like a big sphere, normally this would impact my frames a whole bunch. But it, it doesn't anymore. And I'm, I'm still at like, uh, you can see in the bottom corner if YouTube compression doesn't kill it. I'm at about 90 frames per second. <laughs> with some mild lag spikes. So the problem with this method though is now that I have that big amount of water spawned in, if I get a bathtub or something weird, the water updates a lot less often. So even though my frame rate is high, the water update amount is lower. And I've edited the maximum particle limit for this video. So now the maximum particle limit is its infinity. I can go up to as many as I want. And I can spawn a couple of these spheres. And you can see that uh, I'm at almost or 150,000 particles with still about 30 FPS. It's not bad, but it's not good either. I'm sure if my computer was a little beefier, I could probably handle a little more. But obviously, the refresh rate is crazy low. If I maybe made it so still particles were updated less often, it probably would give for maybe a little bit like better performance and maybe it would look better, it wouldn't be as choppy, but I'm honestly not really sure. I'm working on trying to get DirectX 9 hooked into the C++ so I can just tell Source what to render instead of having to do all of this crazy hacky stuff. That's about it for now. I think this should work as intended. But yeah, that's super slow. I mean, I can like put that in there. That's taking forever to update. Frame rate actually drops a lot because of all the particles I've spawned in. But 200,000 particles spawned in at almost 30 FPS. Not bad. Not bad. And let's pretend like I'm not updating any of the particles anymore. Check out my frame rate. It is pretty much perfect. Obviously, I guess I would be it would be a little bit more than that because I would be rendering flex and stuff, but I would have to do the particle calculations, but it's it would definitely be a lot better if I added a if I sub like I updated the particles based on how much they moved. Um, I guess I haven't I haven't fixed that yet. Oh well, it's more of a proof of concept. The only problem with this is that it removes the ability to do colored water. I can't. I can't color the what like all of this is the same material. So it's like before where the material uh, all changed color when I moved or uh, when I changed the color. So that's that's the only downside. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll get back to you if I try if I get like like I'll make another video if I manage to get a better system in.